young uh, researcher just fresh out of a PhD, how do they promote themselves? How do they carry themselves to the recruiters mm -hmm. to ensure they stand out or to ensure that at least that they can communicate what abilities they have? Mm -hmm. Or do you think the employers give them sufficient chance to prove that? How do they present themselves <laughs> yeah. at least in front of you? Well, um, in usual, uh, interviews and it, it's not a one it's not a one interview between you and me okay usually it involves a presentation of your uh, of your research it also involves a presentation of your teaching so they will ask you to do a lecture okay yeah. do we the interview yeah I mean there's several sessions so for example in our interview so we will have a We'll usually ask the especially engineering, we'll ask them to do a teaching lecture and then we'll ask them to do a research lecture. Oh. And then and then we'll take them out for lunch. So not just one interview decides no, all no, no, no. different so stages. Long, for us, no, uh, for us. Uh, At we least are, how many stages? It, it, research it, it teaching. It varies, but most of the uh, in, in science and engineering, most of our sessions will, will be a full day session. So right. they, they will give a teaching lecture, they'll give their research seminar. They will have lunch with us and they will do the interview. So you observe them during yeah, we lunch? Observe, we observe them the whole day. And, <laughs> and, we, and we, because we, as I said, you know, being a, at least a junior university, a junior university teacher is, is quite holistic. It's not like you're good in research, I'll, I'll hire you. Okay? Right. No, I mean, I can't. So I, I have to get a good teacher as well. So there will be groups who will observe your teaching, see whether your commun your communication is good. There will be someone who is uh, who will be looking at your research to see whether you know your, your research is complementary with our research and whether right. it's top quality. And we now, as I said, we all we always involve a, a lunch or a, a lab tours. Mm. It's not to show you around. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a time that I want to observe what you how you behave as a person. Right. Again, that's the time in which I observe whether you have those commitment, your your teamwork, your communication skills, your 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 value. You know, sometimes when you when you see a, a, a person with a stranger, you will observe all sorts of interesting behaviors, and something will spill out. And 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 finally, the interview. Um, so it's, it's it's a fairly holistic process. Um, I mean, there's there's nothing that you can you can. How do you say? Uh, put yourself in, into cosmetics, okay? That, that you can cover cover things up, but be natural, be yourself. Right. Um, of course, you know you have to be passionate about about the uh, about the job and, and, and process. Um, the, the the thing I want to say is that you don't need to worry that oh I'm weak in research, you know, and therefore I will not get a job. No, we actually often hire. Um, specifically, a, a more teaching-focused person, because, for example, uh, let me say that uh, hypothetically, some school is very good in research, but because of that, they lack. Um, they are showing some uh, need to have some more passionate teachers. So yes, we hire proper teachers. Yes. So we hire some. Of course, they have to have the dimension that they still contribute in research. But yeah, we 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 do that in several uh, schools which we have hired. We have actually targeted specific areas of people in terms of research, in terms of teaching, and even in terms of like, you know, uh, in engineering, we, we target specifically a professional engineer right. because we need that. And of course, we need that experience. So yeah, so it's, it's, it's not a single entry kind of thing that, oh, let me work on this and I'll get the interview, I'll perform well. In mm -hmm. fact, probably the interview is just a conversation. It's maybe the least shortlisting. It's just to make sure that you have all the so-called all the boxes that ticks according to the requirements. Sometimes it's teaching focused, sometimes it's research focused, um, sometimes it's area focused. So um, no, I mean don't. I mean the only thing that I can I can tell you is don't be disappointed if you're not shortlisted or if you if you are not being interviewed. I mean it doesn't mean that you are not as good. It's just that people are looking for other dimensions. Now that you have progress to such a higher administrative position. Do you still miss teaching? Do you think that maybe one day you can go back and just purely focus on teaching rather than any other administrative role? Even if that means you are going down the order? Uh, uh, yes and no. First part of the question, do I miss teaching? Uh, yes and no. Yes, of course, I, I miss this in the sense that I, I interact with fewer students. So that's, that's the bad part. 
But um, the reason why I say no is obviously, I, I, well, again, um, teaching is not only about going to the lecture and, and talk to the students and deliver a lecture or seminar. There's also a lot of background work that you do, you do, and I don't miss that. You know, there's a you, for example, uh, setting examination paper is a, it, it takes a long time, and then nowadays we have to put the marks and match it to some learning outcomes, and there's a there's a lot of administrative work. I really don't miss those. I don't hope that I don't need to do that anymore in my life. Uh, so there's a, remember there's also an administrative part of, of teaching that, that comes with it. So yes, I do miss um, not teaching as much, but I, I mean I still teach two modules. I, and I think I insist and even if I continue to be promoted one day I become the vice chancellor or whatever, I'll still want to teach. I mean number one, I still want to look at the top students. I think it's, a, it's, it's an example that I want to set. Number two, um, only with talking to the students and delivering a lecture, then you know what's going on in the in the grassroots. So I, I, I still want I still want to get that message. Okay? So I would I hope that I will continue. Your second question is: Would I want to go back to teaching one day? Absolutely, yes. I thought about that. So that's what I plan for my retirement. So let's <laughs> let's say that uh, one day I become uh, you know provost. Vice Chancellor or whatsoever, so I reach a retirement age, um, and then I, I'll, I'll probably speak to the university and say, "Hey, I want to get out of this." Uh, I, I say this all the time, and I don't. I hope I hope you edit it out of, of out of the, <laughs> the, 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 the recording. You know, doing these administration administration and managerial job is like turning to the dark side. Okay, so I want so you know I've, I've turned to the dark side. So I want to go back to become the Jedi. Okay, so <laughs> I I so after retirement, I probably would say, hey, can I can I go back? And I just want to teach. I just I don't want to do anything else, but I just want to teach. Okay, and I, I can teach four or five modules, no problem. Okay? Right. Give me as many, but I just don't want to do any administrative work um, anymore. Okay? So maybe by the time that I I, I actually thought about. That. <laughs> Thank you so much, Prof, for your time and such a wonderful and fruitful discussion. I hope our audience can pick up some points from this interview and maybe it can help them in their career as well, in teaching and also about recruitment process. Job hunting. Yes, and job hunting as well. Thank you so much for your time and we really appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you for having me.